My name is Lubi Abubakar. I am a photographer and I've been learning photography for about five years now. I think I kind of just stumbled on photography. My friend was a, a camera enthusiast and I think I just kind of, over a Skype call, I've, I heard about the camera, I got intrigued, I got myself a camera and I never looked back. I try to communicate or include honesty in my work a lot with poses and the kind of characters that I'm creating, the kind of personalities I'm trying to put into it. The culture in Nigeria is very rich. It's always going to be very rich. And I think there's so much more to show from here. The kind of things you see on the streets, just walking down the street, the kind of things that people wear. is very different from what you see in magazines or newspapers, so there's a lot there's a lot of inspiration to gain, and yeah, I get excited a lot by it. I think fashion photography, for me, has kind of taught me how to be very, very critical of my technique. Fashion designers or the fashion market is very demanding of colors and texture and, and style. You know, designers want their clothes to look very, very good on pictures. They, they want it to look good on camera. They want it to look good wherever it is. So I think passion photography, as far as technique goes, has made me very critical and aware of the kind of colors I'm using, how real it looks, how genuine it looks, how well it's going to be communicated. The world is kind of at your fingertips now. If you have your work and you have your portfolio, it's a lot easier now to just find people that you want to work with when you want to work with them. And in Nigeria in particular, I think Nigerians are becoming more understanding of the roles of visual artists. So like filmmakers or photographers or, or people that basically just use cameras to tell stories or to communicate. And the more you grow, you realize that as a brand, or as a fashion designer, for example, you do need pictures to participate in the conversation. The photographers that have influenced my work in the history of photography, um, I would definitely say Malik Sidibe. He was able to do things back then that we're still struggling to understand now. And I think that's really amazing but outside of that I try not to be too too attached to other photographers or older photographers I just try to take what I can to absorb what I can but not be too attached to their style of work or to their own techniques or whatever I think Africa is the future I'm one of those believers I believe very very strongly about that every day I'm pretty much bamboozled by what I see online. I am always excited, I'm impressed by the kind of things that young people are creating, like 16 year olds, 17 year olds are making images that would just blow your mind basically. And so I think the industry is growing and I think Lagos is at the forefront of it. I think the Lagos hustle is keeping us you know, ahead, keeping us abreast and it keeps the spirit like very, very hungry and if you're hungry like you can make anything out of nothing and so I think that's what's happening now with designers and photographers and stylists as well makeup artists I think it's a whole so it's a new world and Africa is going to push it there so I'm excited about that.